Today on the channel from Jack's Class Superstars Series 17, we've got The Rock, Eddie Guerrero, and Shane McMahon. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another Jax Class Superstar Series 17 unboxing and review. And today, from Series 17, we got Shane McMahon, we've got Eddie Guerrero, and we've got The Rock. But remember, for all your modern day wrestling figure needs, hit up Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. And today, Series 17 goes with some heavy, heavy hitters and Eddie Guerrero and The Rock, and even Shane McMahon, obviously with the McMahon name and all of his things he's done for wrestling over the years. I think this is a pretty solid lineup here in Series 17. And guys, and of course, we got in the regular Jax lines, the Ruthless Aggression lines, the Adrenalines, things like that. So an easy pass over into the Classic Superstars line for some of their different looks and easy for Jax because, hey, they're already uh, making WWE figures of these guys, of course. So without further ado, let's kick it off and let's start it off with old Eddie Guerrero. And of course, we're going to do these reviews like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about them. We're going to unbox them. We're going to talk about them. We're going to see where it goes from there. So we're going to start with Eddie Guerrero, like I said. And you know what, Eddie? I'm your poppy. That's what he said right there in his T-shirt. Soft, good shirt from uh, Jax. Always cool. Didn't get that a ton, a ton of times. We got a lot of good robes. Uh, but it was a little bit few and far between for shirts. Uh, very classic Eddie Guerrero. Very uh, similar to his time frame as WWE Champion, of course, with the title belt accessory there. On the side, Eddie Guerrero with the greatest highlights in wrestling at the time, for sure. And there's Eddie Guerrero on that side. And then you get to the back of the package. Oh, there's Eddie running wild, running fast, running free like a young Lando Calrissian. Got the blurb, got the glamour shot, the tail of the tape, got the cross sell, got the UPCs, got the warnings. Of course, we're unboxing all these on the channel. Make sure you subscribe every single Tuesday. A brand new Jax Class Superstar video here on the channel. And then if you're a Patreon member, you can get about four or five months ahead on these videos if you really want to. So uh, support the channel, hit up the old Patreon. But let's read the back on Eddie Guerrero here. Debut 1987, 220 pounds. Five foot eight finishing move, of course, the Frog Splash. Titles WWE Champion, WWE Tag Team Champion, WWE United States Champion, WWE Hall of Fame. And old Eddie, uh, quite the guy for sure. Let's get him out of the package. Oh, it hurts me to open this one. Hurts me to open it, but it must be done for science. And there it is. Off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. And we got him in the plastic prison. There he is. Got that WWE Championship title belt. There it is. There it is, and off the race is up high. See you later. There it goes. Now let's check out this title belt first here, the big, big WWE Championship from the time. Whenever I see this belt, I always think of the JBLs, Eddie Guerrero, Brock Lesnar, and Hollywood Hulk Hogan is who I think of when I see this belt. I don't know who you think of or if you're in the same boat as me. But an okay belt doesn't really knock my socks off, but it is definitely different than some of the other Jacks belts we have received. Now we get Eddie Guerrero. Are we going to have some staining with this one? That's going to be a good question here. We're going to get down to in a second. Uh, now he's got the I'm Your Poppy shirt on. Of course, an iconic shirt for Eddie Guerrero. Uh, but interesting. I always thought this looked way too big. It looked like he was wearing like a big bubble vest or something. It just looks like it just doesn't fit as tight as I would have liked a figure shirt at the time. Uh, but who knows? But it is a bit iconic after all these years. Of course, there was a 1 of 100 exclusive based off of this uh, with different trunks colors basically being the difference there. Uh, but very, very cool. Of course, Eddie Guerrero's got all the articulation. We're going to walk through it. Same for all three of these guys. Arms go all around. You got the bicep cut, single jointed elbow, wrist back and forth, side to side, waist, head do move. Of course, knee single, ankles up and down, and then legs forward and back. And you're off to the races. That's all you get there. Now, do we have any staining with this shirt? Now, it does Velcro on the side. Uh, just a little bit of Velcro. So these are always kind of tough to get off. I'm just not a big fan, but we have no staining with this shirt. So how can uh, Jax, all these years ago, almost coming on 20 years almost, uh, have no staining where you get a brand new AEW Unrivaled Young Bucks pack, for example, uh, straight to your door from Amazon, fresh off the truck, fresh off the pre-order, uh, right there, and stained like crazy uh, within a matter of you know weeks. Where this, 20 years on, no staining. I wish they would get more, and I'm not just uh, accusing Jazzwares here. Mattel, you too. Let's use some of this kind of material. If it doesn't stand for 20 years... I'd say it's a pretty good deal there. So uh, I just wanted to point that out real quick. Uh, I do have an interesting uh, tights here, kind of the flames, the 
neon green kind of colors going on. Very, very colorful. Always love these Eddie Guerrero boots, though, with the flames, the gold, and the black attack. Always looks really good. And, of course, matches the classic Superstars packaging. So that's very nice as well. But a good, good, more modern for the time, Eddie Guerrero, instead of a throwback look for sure. Uh, I definitely like this one. Definitely warrants a spot. But I could have also seen this released in the Ruthless Aggression line as well. Uh, but, of course, Eddie Guerrero around this time, of course, passed away fairly recently. It was very recent at the time. Uh, so a very popular one. And still a popular one to this day. So there's all Eddie Guerrero. Now we're going to turn our attention over to The Rock. Oh, yes, The Rock. You heard it here first. Rock Nation of Domination, it says on the side. So that, so you know. Now you know. There it is. But there's The Rock. Here's a microphone. Of course, needs a microphone. Got a shirt once again. Got the WWE title belt. What belt is that? That's the old classic. Uh, that's the one I always think of him and Steve Austin having, of course, when I think of who had this belt. And then you got The Rock on the side. And the back of the package, there's old Rocky. Got the cross-sell, UPCs, warnings, tail of the tape, the blurb. It's all there. Let's see what it says about Rocky. Uh, I almost said Rocky Johnson, but Rock Nation of Domination, as his name is in this one. Whatever. Debuted 1995, 275 pounds, six foot five, finishing move, the good old people's elbow. Titles, undisputed WWE champion, WCW champion, world tag team champion, and intercontinental champion. Love the sideburns on this one as well. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. He's got the people's eyebrow. He's got a lot going. He's got a lot going for him here, The Rock. I wonder whatever happened to that guy. You just don't see him wrestle anymore. I wonder what he's up to. I wonder what he's been doing. There it is. See you later. Whoa. Put some spin on it. See you later. Get out of here. Microphone, title belt, like I said, and The Rock. Plastic prison. Pull him out. Whoa. There it is. And there it is. And over the top. See you later. Goodbye. Shaking the camera. Oh, my gosh. What are we doing? Uh, black microphone. Seen it a million times. We'll see it a million times more, but very fitting for The Rock, so I'm okay with that. Black microphone. Then we get the title belt here, of course. Like I said, the one I always think of him and Austin holding for sure. Uh, it's okay. Much like this one, not my favorite title belt, but very cool representative of the title belt in the Classic Superstars line. You can't fault that as well. Now we get down to The Rock, and this is very interview segment Rock. Uh, this is not wrestling figure Rock. Uh, he's got the suited pants legs going on, the non-wrestling legs going with the black pants and the black shoes. And then, of course, the soft good shirt, which is really, really nice soft good shirt. No staining, anything like that. Very, very good. Very good looking shirt here. I love it. I don't know if this is 100% accurate that he did wear this at one time, uh, but it does look good. It does look like something The Rock would have on. It is unfortunate we didn't get glasses with him. Sunglasses would have been a really good touch to this. He does got the people's eyebrow. He's throwing up the old people's eyebrow over there. Uh, he's got that in this figure, and it definitely looks like The Rock all day long. Love those sideburns. Those sideburns were all the rage back in the day, as we all know. Uh, but a very, very good Rock figure here. For what it is, you don't, you know, The Rock was in a lot of backstage stuff, a lot of interviews. You need a Rock like this. Uh, I definitely agree on that. Of course, you need your wrestling Rock too. But if I was a little kid, I'd have this separate. I Kind of like the Macho Man Hasbro, that last one. It was more announcer interview Macho Man for me in my playing days. And then the other Macho Mans did the uh, work of the ring, it will say. Uh, and this would be the same way. If I was a kid playing when these came out, that's what I would have done. I would have had this as my interview Rock and backstage rock where the other rocks would have played in the ring but a very very good rock figure uh for what it is and definitely warrants a spot in the classic superstars line uh for me didn't feel terribly classic at the time but definitely classic after all these years as a lot of figures in this line have become over the years so there you go now we turn our attention to the money here comes the money with shane mcmahon old shane mcmahon uh comes into the jacks class superstars line uh, an interesting one a lot of people were not happy about this at the time but once again time marches on and it does feel classic of course this figure was re-released under the no way out pay-per-view brand and it was i believe the very last pay-per-view series from jacks in 2009 and this came out in 2008 so a year later or so, this was re-released in the traditional Ruthless Aggression line. Uh, so if you get a loose one, it could have been either or. I guess you never know, but wanted to point that out as well. He does come with the European title. I guess when I think of Shane McMahon and titles, I always think of that European title. And I always thought that was a good move. It wasn't the world title. It wasn't the intercontinental title. It fit Shane McMahon and what he was because he wasn't a full-time wrestler. We know all that. I really did like that uh, use of him with the European title. Shane McMahon on the side. Glamour shot action. And then in the back of the package, 
Old shame it man, there he is. And we got the blurb, the tail of the tape, the glamour shot, the cross sell, UPCs, the warnings. Now there is a variant of this one and I'm not really counting this. There's a lot of weird variants. A uh, title belt up high, up low, that's a variant. A guy with knee pads, no knee pads. Bob Orton with ace on the boots, no ace on the boots. That's a variant to me. This one is also a variant, as people do say, there is the lettering on the shirt is off-centered or centered. To me, I don't know if I really count that as a variant as far as I count that more production issues, trying to get the figure straight. Uh, you know, you imagine it being stamped on and it's going to be different every single time. So I can see some being a little off-centered, but I just don't know. I don't know. You guys weigh in. I guess it's a variant if it is different, but it's not a variant in, hey, we're going to not put knee pads on this guy. Okay, wait, change that up. Let's put knee pads on him. That's a really true variant to me, where this is almost just like a factory mistake. And, and I could be wrong, but you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, Shaman Man, weight 230 pounds. Six foot two, finishing move the old coast to coast, titles hardcore champion and European champion. Very, very cool. So there's Shane gonna put him off to the side because I do have Shane O'Mac right here loose of course does come with that european title we talked about very very good much like the other belts here not the greatest but you know what it is and it definitely deserves a spot in the line because it is a title belt that was used in the wwe so hey well, let's put it in there now you get down to shane o'mac here we talked about his jersey of course he always wore jerseys got the shane o'mac across the front it does say the money down low you got mcmahon on the back of the shirt as well uh, the white buttons throughout and a decent feeling shame it man this one feels pretty good in hand i like that he's got the fist in hand it definitely looks like shame it man you see this you say oh yeah there's old shame it man that's him then he's got his like track suit pants much like the rock used to wear the black and white attack with the white shoes looks really good to me i have no problems with this shame it man i didn't really have any problems with him being in the line you know we had stephanie we had vince we had shane would have been great to have linda mcmahon in the class superstars line uh there was talk i think but it never did happen she did have a titan tron that was canceled at one time but it would be nice to have a Linda McMahon figure. I think that ship has totally sailed. I don't think that will ever come to fruition, which is kind of sad. Really should have had a Linda McMahon figure somewhere along the line. We'll just have to make do with Vince, Shane, and Stephanie, of course. But Shane, looking good for what it is here. Of course, it felt very modern at the time. It feels more classic now. And like I said, if you're getting this one loose or if you want this loose, maybe you can find the pay-per-view series figure cheaper than this one. Uh, I guess uh, whatever floats your boat, whatever you're looking for, as far as your Shaman Man figure goes. But there's old Shaman Man. So not a bad set here. These three from Classic Superstar Series 17. We got The Rock, Eddie Guerrero, and Shane. Which one's your favorite? Put them in order. Put it in the order down below in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got Jack's Classic videos every single Tuesday for well over two years here on the channel. Would love to have you a part of that. So make sure you subscribe, hit the old notification bell. And of course, follow along on Patreon. Link in the description below. The Patreon, your best way to support the channel. But you also get bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaway opportunities. And of course, these Jack's Class Superstars videos. You're months and months ahead on those over on the Patreon. So check that out. Link in the description below. Social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle, underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Glass Superstars Series 17, Eddie Guerrero, The Rock, and Shane McMahon, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.